There we go. Now I've got audio. Uh, here we go. Hop back over here. So, yes. Lovely Pokemon music playing. Wonderful. Um, so here we have the team so far. It's a Charmander, a G, a Drill, a Psyduck, and a Nidoron male. We are going to replace the Beedrill and Psyduck pretty soon, I think. But, uh, yeah, if you're not familiar, this is a ROM hack of Fire Emblem Eight, And you do need a copy of uh, Fire Emblem 8 to play it, but you can patch it. Get that the patch from the Poke Emblem Discord. This is called Poke Emblem. And, uh, very fun. I recommend you give it a shot. Um, it kind of reminds me of uh, Pokemon Conquest. Although, honestly, Pokemon Conquest was a bit lacking in the mechanic department, and I think this game has some pretty interesting mechanics built into it that we can go off, especially with the, uh, the AoE stuff that uh, it has to offer. Pretty cool. Um, so, let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh, right, I want to make sure to update Discord also. Okay, I'm blowing Discord that I'm live now. Let's see then. So there's a few interesting mechanics to note here. First off, we can use this call mechanic to summon our party to nearby tiles. We can do that as much as we want out of combat, so we can even use that to potentially skip encounters entirely. Um, but we are on the hardest difficulty. I actually kind of want to fight everything. I don't want to be spending too much time grinding, but we do want to fight as much as we can. Um, so what we're going to do is have our starter, which knows guard, here, um, stand on the edge and guard. If we had any buffs to apply, we would apply those at this point. We're just going to position fairly aggressively. Um, eight. But I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. Um, oh, we already fought this trainer. Did we? Um, uh, don't recall fighting this one. Yes, we did. So uh, let's take this fight. I I may have forgotten how far we got in the last session. But we don't we can rematch the trainers. We don't have to. Um, did you come to explore the cave too? Oh. Okay. Um, you know, since we have since I seem to have forgotten, I'm just gonna double check the other members in our PC and make sure I didn't forget about grabbing uh, any new Pokemon to replace these two, because I was thinking about getting a replacement for one of ours. Is it already gone so far? Let's see what we got down here. Yeah, we do have a Geodude already. Okay, well, let's get rid of this. Uh, hmm. We do kind of want the water type. Let's get rid of the Beedrill. Or Geodude. That is great. And we'll get some items on this Geodude. Take the berries. Uh, do I have anything? Give it rock tune. Though it might already learn rock tune. So perhaps we won't use that. Let's see. So, um, you're new here. The uh, the moves don't work like uh, Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem has this items inventory system where you have all of the, uh, the weapons in your bag and you attack with the things from your bag. Here, um, our moves are separate and we can actually learn five different attacking moves, some of them support moves, and uh, those are not considered inventory items. Uh, like this Rock Tune, this would potentially add Rock Tune to the moves page if we were to use it at a one-time use item. So, uh, let's see. We can actually, before we do this, check to see what moves uh, it learns by pressing, if we select it and then press right, that brings us to this, and then we can select learn set. Let's see, um, it does not actually learn rock tomb. Uh, it does learn a couple of rock moves. It learns rollout. 
at level 15, and it learns Rock Throw at level 7. It's level 6 right now. It's about to learn Rock Throw. Let's compare Rock Tomb and Rock Throw. Rock Tomb has a 5 to damage and 80 to hit. Um, it is physical. That's what we're looking for. What about Rock Tomb? Rock Tomb is 4 damage and 90 to hit, and it is potentially AoE, a speed debuff, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, I like that. That's kind of neat. And with Stab, that would be no slouch. I wonder, though, if it would be, say, maybe better on Nidoron. Although this Nidoron has gotten amazing magic growths. Um, you know, we're gonna get more Rock Tomb TMs, I'm sure. We, we can buy almost everything. I think there's one item that you will only be able to get one of. Um, but practically everything else, you can get multiples. Pretty too much. We're gonna try to level up this Geodude a little bit. A little bit of experience. There's another Geodude here. Let's see, now these wild Geodudes, we do have to fight them if they're in our way, so we'll step up here and guard. And our dude's over here. Oh. And here, we're just gonna move this Geodude over there. We want an enemy phase. This is very much a game where you want to be fighting on player phase. So we'll bait them in with something tanky enough to take a hit really easily and then dump on them and hopefully take them out in one turn. Now, the most damage we can do is we can do five damage with the special attack. But I think most of the things that we would do will take this Geodude out. Does it have any special defense at all? Okay, there we go. We found something that reduces it to two hit points, so this is plenty low enough for Geodude to take it out. And that'll get us a lot of experience, well, some amount of experience for our Geodude. Now let's use from a distance. You can see there the supporting moves are special attacks and they are 1-2 range. Those are the only 1-2 range attacks. Otherwise, physical moves are melee, and special moves are two range, like bows. Okay, oops. We bumped the uh, speed up button momentarily there. We've got um, another trainer here that we'll be able to bypass. We don't need to worry too much about our positioning now. Just walk right past him, give everybody a call. On up. Now you'll notice that the, the wall has a health bar. That is not a mistake. This actually does have uh, health here. And if it reaches max health, an enemy will spawn. This is sometimes a good thing because you get access to certain mons only this way by allowing this to fill up. But um, we're actually, we've got what we came here for, which was a Geodude. Um, so we are really mostly just interested in that. Um, and we don't really want a bunch of extra money to spawn. Um, let's see, so let's back out of the range of that. This only has, uh, okay, this does have ranged attacks and growl. So let's exploit that. <laughs> we'll, you, we'll go to moves here, make sure with order moves, to swap tail whip with bubble. Now bubble is what our Psyduck will retaliate with, we end turn in range, that Geodude can only move up and growl, and then our Psyduck will retaliate with a water gun. Big damage. Nice. So we can do enemy phase gaming, but then we usually don't want to. Um, I don't think the item over here did. Okay. Well, let's, um, let's see. So one thing we can do, notice that we're not in combat right now. So I can say have our Pidgey fly over here, call, and effectively add Pidgey's movement to all of the other uh, units that I have on my team. Very, very nice. 
perhaps even integral to the gameplay. Um, hmm. So if we move into this red area at all, we'll aggro one of, or potentially both, of this Zubat and Geodude here. I'm actually going to make a point of staying out of that. I, again, I don't remember if we fought that trainer off to the right there. So let's just use Pikachu to knock this out. And um, we'll move over here with the rest of our points. Did I forget one? Oh, aha, Geodude hasn't moved. Okay, we want Geodude to be kind of off in the corner, able to run away. Interesting. Just moves towards us a little bit. Now, these trainers do have pass, so you can't trap them. There's nothing, no shenanigans really that you can do there. Ah, good. We did fight this trainer already. That's convenient. Must have made some significant progress then. Um, so let's see who we want to call with. Let's call with the G. That way we can easily reach this Zubat. And, oh. I think Pikachu also has Leaf Flurry. We could instead use a Leaf Flurry here. Now you'll notice that Pikachu was able to double. That is possible. Uh, stats in this game are much higher. Um, you do have to have plus 10 speed over your opponent to double, rather than uh, just plus 4 within the base games. So that is worth noting. Hmm. Forget what we did to reduce this to 2 before. That'll work. More experience for Geodude. And then, yeah, we'll just use Pikachu to zap this real quick. And I think that should start the next fight. And I think we may have already done. Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. I already did this one. have a nice little neutral area. Just call everyone through it. Um, let's see. Recall if we actually went into the underground areas. So let's check this underground area while we're here. It does look as though at the very least we haven't been past here, because there is money on the ground. Oh, we're taking that And we can see, I think if we scroll around here, the entire floor here for B2. Oh, and it looks as though we didn't go into that other underground area. There's an item there. Oh, good to know. Now we can fight this Paris. We actually don't have to. We can just go right over here. And then, oh yes, this room. So there is a Clefable here. It's level 10. Kind of spooky. I don't really think we can fight it yet. But that's good to know that that's where this is. Um, you know, actually... Hmm. We could try to catch... Yeah, let's try to catch some of the uh, some of its buddies. Like we did with Beedrill last episode. Um, I don't actually know what it'll summon. But that item sure does look appealing. Um, now, if I remember correctly, this thing sort of just runs around freely, even though you have some trouble getting to it. Oh, aquatic movement. Oh, that's cool. So aquatic movement negates ice. This is what happens with other mons. Yeah, which is a, a little bit of a lot. Um, and the fight will start as soon as we move up here. So I don't have too many options. Unless we want to very slowly enter the fight, sort of one mon at a time. This? Which I guess is a move. Technically is one of the decisions we could make. Um, but I'd rather have, I guess, like, a Pidgey or something into better positions here. Mm 
Yeah, that might be good. Here, if Pidgey is here, then Charmander can go this way. Nice, so we can make our own sort of wall. Um, and then, yeah, I guess we, let's go ahead and eat the berry. Send Pikachu to the left, then up, to the right. And we'll send Nidoran over. Hang out here for a sec. And I think what we can do is run Psyduck around. Let's try moving Charmander up. So, I think... Oh, I should have called. Oh, wait a second. Can I call? Ooh. Maybe we just do that. I think that's that's probably the better move. Um, yeah, and then I can get this. And maybe try running away with Psyduck? I don't actually know how well that would work. Or if I'm allowed to leer this. Oh, crud. Whoops. That is not good. I just leered my own Psyduck. Don't do that. Don't do what I just did. That is not the way. So let's, uh, let's wait for the next turn, I guess. So here we see a boss fight. The aura flares to life, so we cannot actually fight this Clefable. Um, hmm. Fairy. So the only thing that's really interesting to me out of this, I guess we could pick up Clefairy because, um, I guess I didn't, I didn't finish explaining. Uh, we have to defeat the ads before we can defeat the boss. Um, we cannot catch the boss. We can catch the ads. And that's relevant because the ads have bonus stats. So this is stronger than a normal level 10 Clefairy. Um, and... Likewise, this would be stronger than a normal level 10 Sandshrew, which is pretty good, actually. We kind of want this Sandshrew. Uh, that will be potentially pretty helpful for, for Lieutenant Surge. Um, so I think the very first thing I'm going to do is perhaps move down here and use a Rock Tomb on this Zubat. In fact, we can even capture a Zubat. I don't have one. Might as well. And then I think we can also capture with bubble. Oh, not quite. But we would need to use some kind of AoE. Um, oh, well that works. It's not good. Hmm. A. Well, a little bit of a misclick there. I didn't realize that. I couldn't undo the ice movement. Fun fact, and not undo ice movement. Okay. Um, well, then in that case, we'll do this. We we'll use a gust, and that will enable us to capture this sand fruit. Essentially important. Oh, we want to use the capture command. Go, nope. and then we can just attack normally. There we go. Now we have a couple new allies. And here's Charmander, which cannot do too much. I guess we can launch an Ember or a Mudshot. Mudshot is the most effective. We'll do that. That was my own Mon. Oh no, I just Mudshot my own Mon. Uh, well, I can heal, I suppose. It's probably gonna get taken down. Let's see, what move do we have to put? Magnitude, that is useless. So we'll replace that with... Okay. So Peck is what's at the top now. Use a berry to heal. I guess... Do we have? I feel very silly. Yeah, that's okay. That's alright. Something was always gonna get knocked out there. Honestly, we kind of want Geodude, yeah, to get knocked out. That's great. Geodude soaked up all those attacks. Actually, we might be able to win this then. Um, so I think if I do this, uh, I can launch a fire attack. Then 
an electric attack. Doesn't like this. Not even Thunder Wave. Quite. Do that. Just knock out both of these Zubat. And let's see, what is the situation? This Clefairy. Because if we capture this Clefairy, first off, um, the Clefable can then only knock out one of either Psyduck or Pidgey, which guarantees the ability for us to leave with our captures that we've gotten. Um, but also it will join our team immediately. I think 66% health? Not sure. Um, exactly. But some amount of health. And that's good. It's another member. We would like to capture this if we can. Let's see if I can get it this turn. Um, Gus probably be our strongest attack. Quick attack isn't doing much more, so I don't think we're going to be able to get this Clefairy this turn. Kind of spooky. So let's, um... Confuse... No. Um, i debuff it. I think focusing on debuffing it is probably the way. Hmm. Yeah, let's use the AoE sand attack. It doesn't affect as much, but um, we don't take a retaliation. That's good. Pidgey didn't go down here. All right. So I think we can... Hmm. I don't really know what to do with this Charmander right now. Uh, but I can definitely use Pikachu with Thundershock. Okay. Well, can we capture them? Oh, double attacking ones. Okay, so we can capture. That'll work. That's something. Okay, so you'll notice the aura dissipates now. We've captured the Clefairy. Oh, it didn't join our team. I guess that doesn't happen in boss fights on Lunatic. Alright. I thought it should join our team right away. Ah, okay. Uh, that's bad. This is, um... Not according to plan. Okay, so what I'm thinking is maybe we growl. I don't even know if that's going to be effective. Might say Pidgey. Actually, you know what? Let's just run with it. Because I think Pidgey is not doing good damage anymore. Yeah, nobody is really doing good damage to this except for Pidgey. We're just going to run away. And come back. We're happy. At this point. Okay. Feed Charmander to the Clefable. There's no shot. But we're just gonna run away. So that hurt, but we have some new mods. Very nice. Notice that we have emerged into danger. Um, but this is okay. Because, again, we have fought these trainers already. As long as we manage to avoid any wild spawns, yeah, we'll be fine. We do not have to fight these trainers, we just need to walk back to the beginning. Then we do want to take the the uh, other staircase we walk past first. So I might have said.
that out. I want to fight you, sir. Back to the Poké Center we go. Okay. So, got a little bit of experience on Geodude. And we captured a few... Oh, that's why it didn't join. I must have accidentally knocked it out. Thought I used the capture. That's lame. Well, that's okay, though. Um, because really the, the sand true was the big reason we were there. The fairy is, um, kind of a... In, uh, at least in normal mode, so I can only imagine in lunatic watch wars. I'm not en enthused by the fairy, but for a while, uh, sand true is particular. This is gonna be nice to have later. I think right now, um, we need Pikachu for the Zubats. So I think we just stay with this party for now. Get through the cave. Okay, let's drop the uh, drop the Pidgey because we're coming up on. Uh, coming up on some stuff. We'll have to fight some poison Pokemon soon. Uh, some ground type. And, uh, that is. Hey, Vesley. Oh. Interest. So I did capture. Huh. Well, alright. That's Vesley. Um, he's here with us. Creator of the mod. Very cool. Apparently, it is a bug that we just witnessed. I did capture. That's okay. Good to know, though, so I need to make sure to catch uh, <laughs> any mons that I want from boss encounters before I knock out the rest. Definitely adds another layer of difficulty. <laughs> down here then. The an item ball. There it is. Awesome. Uh, so this is a trainer I have not. Let's try to use this a uh, little bit of a, I guess a choke point you might call it. So it's uh, not the strongest of choke points. Something. This way is a dead end. I just came back from it. I know. Let's battle. Voltorb, Pikachu. Okay. Doesn't move. Um, okay. That's not what I expected at all. Um, well, I know Voltorb can be pretty threatening. Well, maybe we take that out. Let's see a matchup against Pikachu. Also, one. We don't have any ground moves on Geodude yet. We can maybe train up our meter on here. Hmm. Okay, well, he only has a tip with. Oh, the Pikachu one. Probably 
fine, let's see then. So if I solo target, or if I single target, that might actually be enough. But only has two defense, hmm. Um, well in that case, probably want to AoE Tail Whip. That way we're doing three damage and two defense damage. Is effectively five damage. Still a little short? Yeah, just a little short. So perhaps. Oh! I need something then, I guess, growl. We just need to touch more damage. There we go. Experience for the Nido King. Okay, and then... I don't really have the accuracy. I believe that. We could use a... I wonder why that's flashing. So we have a very low accuracy. I think we tail whip this. We need to use a berry charge. Faster. Quick attack. I think we want quick attack that much. Um, physical attacks on Pikachu are kind of sometimes. I guess they can be good. The growths are there, but this one is uh, not a strong physical attacker. Seven damage. I'd rather just tackle it. Okay. Sure. Is another trainer down. It's either the top left, that is where we want to go, but that is not where we are going. We want to have... Actually... Yeah, that's good to know that uh, our Psyduck can kill the Subat pretty easily. And then, before we go down, let's heal up this Pikachu. Baby. And honestly, second berry. Good measure. Pretty squishy. There's an item here. It's dead. That it was a dead end. But there was an item. Back we go. It was actually a dead end. Um, in fact, let's just knock this out. Oh, there's um, there's a press over there. They have attacks because it works. Okay. Maybe we send this in. And I can at least just tank up damages. I need to move that from beside my right arrow. Not want to. Mm. 
Okay. Oh, we actually don't have a lot that can damage this thing very strongly. I guess that's pretty good. So let's bring, uh, how much damage can our G? Five. That's perfect. Okay. So we're going to peck it. And then use Geodude to knock it out. Get ourselves a nice, strong, physically defensive Mon. Gonna need at least one of these. We probably also want some kind of special tank. Um, just to have access to it, I assume there will be some situation in Too bad is in an annoying spot. So is this Geo, dude. I wanna just chip at it a little bit. it doesn't hurt very badly. Let's use the zoo best. Here, in this range. Just have it zap itself into Pikachu. We've got Thundershock at the top there. That's just enter him. Do a little bit of enemy phase gaming. We try not to, but it's alright. fully explored. Oh wait, right, yes. This area leads to the boss fight. We don't. We already did. We're gonna ignore that. Stop that from spawning things. Grab some money. So here's another trainer we haven't fought yet. Oh, I wonder if that's what that exclamation mark sends. Figure that fight. Cut out a little bit. They generally on this side of things. Suspicious men are about in the cave. What about you? Geodude. Well, um, Pikachu can certainly knock out one of these Geodudes with Leaf Flurry. It's fantastic. That's no trouble. But notice Pikachu hardly got any XP. These Geodudes are only level 8. So we're going to be using other stuff to get those knockouts. Hmm. 
So let's try to provide a lot of chip damage. Do something like this. Um, oh, that's not. Awesome level for GOD there. And then, uh, let's see. Do that. Get knocked out. Oh. Almost avoid getting knocked out. Hmm. Like, maybe we just go over here. Yeah. Oh, Pikachu. Alas, poor Pika. saw them. I'm sure they're from Team Rocket. Okay. Well, I guess they're from Team Rocket. This is not a Moonstone. In the same position as the original Moonstone. So on. Very nice troll there. Well, we lost Pikachu, so let's take the sign. And the good news is we can just go right back to that uh, sign next time, since we've made it there already. We do not have to walk back through it again. save here, it will reload the map. It's interesting. Um, so, for example, if I zap this, okay. now back at the beginning here, and there's another Zubat. Not that this is an infinite source of XP, because there's level caps and all that, but I guess let's just aggro things in. Take it slow. Yep. 
and Geodude should be able to get a kill with Rock something here. All up the rest. Try to get a knockout for Nito here. Yeah, that'll work. Bring Paris down to two. I'm sure Nito can... Oh, well, that was a glancing blow, so I guess not. I am certain that our Nito can do enough damage now. Yeah. Definitely do enough damage. We did not need to take both of those poisons. Ouch. I guess maybe we go back to her and ask for a heal. Oh. <laughs> hmm. I came because I heard there are some very rare fossils here. Pikachu Vulture. Okay. Well, I think if we magnitude this Pikachu, it would be good. Yeah. And that's really the biggest threat here. Nice strength defense. Pretty much what this Mon does. Gonna drop Mud Shot. That makes a lot of sense since it is a, a primarily melee Mon here. Whipped here, I think now Peck can take the KO. Nice. I think a combo of Ember. Ooh, nice. That calls a spooky. I guess we growl. Mud shot. Oh, it's not quite enough. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, this R being super effective, I think, reduces the damage. Or at least, don't get completely murked. Few dude is just way over here. I'm pretty sure that this nice lady can heal us. Hopefully, that's the case. I don't know if she can resurrect her. Be sad. But we get some more experience for you, dude. Magic. Yes. But a lot of stats otherwise. I actually just assume that this puts some heal says. Not confident. Let's, uh, let's stand in a big circle around her just in case. People kept complaining, so I'm here to revive your party. <laughs> 2,000 though, so they'll probably still complain. Well, yeah. Oh man, no way. I'm just... That's, that is way too much. I'm just gonna go up here. I'm like right beside a sign. Like just people complained about this enough where you had to add something. It's there's a sign like right there. There's the pro tip: take the sign. Don't spend two thousand Poke dollars. If you can make it back there, you can make it to the sign. here. Uh, we actually don't have any items on. Let's do this. Make you do potentially even more invulnerable with the bronze shield. 
good. Oh, Harden. That's potentially useful. Not for Charmander. Interesting nonetheless. The energy band is more like what we want for our Nido here. Muscle band makes more sense for Geodude. Depending on whether we need damage or not. Okay, so we got some heals, we saved our progress. Very nice. Let's run up here. Sun. No reason to pay that nice lady. Let's see, there is yet another. It's actually we can tank anything it throws at us. So let's move. Swap out for Leer. Sure. And then Geodude, which looks as though it always has not. Or, uh, Geodude looks like it's always acted. It's, it's just gray and then, like, also gray. Uh, pretty funny. I can't always tell if it's gone or not. What level is Charmander? Hmm. Yeah. More XP. I like that. They're on the chain. Let's, uh, we want to use our Pikachu, so let's move up with someone other than Pikachu. And, uh, yeah. Go. And turn, wait for the next round. And go on. Okay, so here we see the culprits of the situation is, in fact, Team Rocket. There are a lot of poison mons in this area. Uh, music is also slapping. See, quite a lot of stuff. We also have another shot at, at a Clefairy here. You can see this one is a little bit wimpier. Harrison. And can we get fossils here? And fight a sort of Jesse James kind of dude later on. Pretty interesting. Um, before we get into that, though, I'm going to take a little bit of a break, grab myself uh, a snack, some water, go out for a sec. I hope you'll be here when I get back. Um, thanks for hanging out. Good to have you here. <laughs> 